does. It's Woogle with Woogles Outdoors. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a split figure deadfall. A deadfall is a type of trap that uses a very large rock or heavy object set up on a very hairy trigger system that once activated, the rock will fall down on top of its prey and ultimately crushing it, killing it instantly. Uh, it's a very effective trap used for many different types of critters. You can make them as big as you can find the rocks for them pretty much. So you can catch rabbits, squirrels, uh, pretty much any small game out there. Most of the time you're going to get some mice and that kind of thing on these though. But hey, it's worth situation, it. situation, only the picky people die. you got to toughen up your stomach and be willing to eat pretty much anything. There's a worm laying on the ground over here. If I was truly in a survival situation, I better be willing to eat that worm. It's protein. you got to get used to it. This. Well, three objects. It starts out with just two. You're going to take a very small stick, uh, just something very slender. You're going to carve down one point to be your trigger point. Uh, this is, or I'm sorry, your bait point. This is what you thread your bait onto. It could be corn, nuts, anything like that. You can just barely, you know, just put it right there near it. Uh, the other point is what you're going to fit into the hole of this. We'll get into that in just a moment. So your other stick that you're going to cut is something that's uh, probably about half an inch in diameter, maybe even an inch if you really wanted to go to it. That's what this one is. I believe this is about an inch. Uh, actually this would be more reliable and I usually measure by my thumbnail uh, my tip of my finger I ended up cutting myself earlier luckily I had tape and some pine and pine sap it's a good antiseptic either way uh, what you're going to do is take your stick cut it to a measurement of however big your rock is if your rock's a very long rock you're going to want it to be a little taller if it's a very short rock but it's still heavy make it a little bit shorter because your trigger has got to ultimately go out it's got to work with itself so what you're going to do is once you get this, this object cut, you're going to go ahead and instead of cutting it in half like this one is, uh, you're going to go ahead and carve out one side of the shaft. The reason you're going to carve it out is because you need the grains to match perfectly. Match. It's going to wiggle wobble around. It's not going to mad, it's not going to like stick up, you're going to have fallen traps. It's, it's just going to be a wasted effort. You're going to waste all kinds of calories and it's just not going to work. So once you've got it carved out and ready to go. Now, some people would agree with me and some people would disagree. You can go ahead and saw it in half at this point. Some people have this crazy idea that you need to go ahead and take your knife, whatever you have with you, and just whittle out a hole in it. Now, personally, that's extremely difficult in a survival situation. I'm not going to have an bit or anything like that with me that I can just put a hole in it with. So I need to get a hole in there as efficiently as possible, as quick as possible, without extreming uh, you know, all of my energy out. So, I take my stick that I have, I'm going to go ahead and saw it in half, which is what I did here. I took a, a saw blade and just cut it in half that I have on my machete. X is two cutting tools. Two is one and one is none. Either way, so I sawed it in half and then I just simply whittled it out. I whittled out a little, uh, you know, a little rivet point here. I can't think of the correct name there. And a point here. And then what you're going to do is have it together. That's when this comes in handy because you're going to know which side is which and it's going to fit together perfectly that way. And you may need to do some whittling to make sure it works perfectly. Now your other stick here that you do have is the stick that is your trigger stick. This is your stabilizing stick that goes up and down. Now normally deadfalls are like figure fours. It requires like seven notches and stuff like that. And it goes into a four figure and your trigger sticks over here. It launches this, knocks this off, and your trap falls. It's, it's pretty complicated. It takes a little bit longer. This is a very simple method that takes a lot quicker uh, and you can set out more of these more in a more timely manner. So what we're going to do is take this and you're just going to place it gently in there. Just kind of wiggle it around, get your feel for it, see what it's like. Practice makes perfect, especially with traps, because don't go in there thinking you can just do traps. They're very complicated in some situations, and you're never going to have the same kind of trap twice. Uh, I mean, you're going to have the same like split figure traps, things like that, but they're never going to work the same way for you, because you're always going to be in different environments. I'm in a tunnel pit right now with all kinds of thorns and stuff, and this is a prime place for a rabbit to den down. A very small game can only fit in here. I managed to squeeze my way in here just barely. So this is prime location for a small game animal. So you're going to fit your trigger stick inside the hole and then you're going to plant it into the trap. And I'll go ahead and show that to you now. The way this works is you set this up here, you put your trigger stick inside the rivet hole that you create it. You place these together and again this does take some walking around. I went ahead and de-knocked the top of mine only because that does allow less friction point on the top. It makes it a lot hairier. So it does work. And again, you want to thread your bait on the end here. If you can't thread it there, just have it around that area somewhere to where at least our head will bump into that. 
uh, because if it bumps into it, then the trap's set and they fall and die. Again, most of the time you're going to catch like mice and stuff on these, but there is chances for squirrels. I'll show you some squirrel traps in the next videos. Much more effective, of course. This one, though, uh, works very well. So, again, you just put your trigger trap or your trigger uh, point inside the rivet hole on your stabilizing stick and you place it up against it. So, instead of creating this figure four system that's a little bit more complicated, you do it a lot quicker this way. You can set out more traps this way and a lot less whittling. This is pretty interesting, very easy trap to do, and uh, again, I'm not going to be trapping with this one because I have no need to right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it again. Give you guys a point. It's that easy. It just barely, barely takes anything at all. And this is a pretty heavy rock. I mean, I would say it estimates to right about 30, 35 pounds. So, I mean, very easily crush a small critter of some sort. Very easily. But Thanks for watching. If you like the video, definitely like, subscribe, and comment. And again... Deadfalls are a wonderful way to do it. Snare traps work as well. Stay tuned for a lot more survival knowledge on this channel. It's what I want to start aiming for. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out and happy trails.